So I checked out the entire uh, PlayStation Play 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 event they did uh, earlier this morning, actually. I did check it out. I watched the whole thing. Uh, first thoughts on it were, uh, as far as the presentation, I thought the first two hosts, the ladies they had up there first, I thought they seemed very competent and very um, uh, charismatic. You know, that they seemed funny, too. They seemed kind of like they knew what they were talking about. They seemed funny. And uh, watching them play Resident Evil 8 was really funny, especially the one in the bl- in black because she was she jumped and was screaming. So that was that was pretty funny. Um, the uh, the event itself was just kind of what I thought it was going to be, what a lot of us thought it was going to be. They there were some cool Resident Evil 8 things that I'll get into that first, and then I'll do the Final Fantasy VII remake Integrate stuff. There was some cool stuff they showed for Integrate, and they talked about for Integrate as well. So, but first off, one of the things that kind of I found annoying about the event was you'd be watching and trying to listen to what they were saying. Of course, it was in Japanese, so unless you can understand Japanese, you won't listen to what they were saying. I, I don't understand Japanese, but I was still kind of listening for inflections and like, oh, and laughs and stuff like that. Every time an audience member, like on the digital audience, would like something they saw, it seemed like they hit the play button. It's like, play, 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 like the whole time. It was kind of distracting, right? It almost got to a point where I was starting to kind of grip my teeth, like, mm, you know, because I, I kept hearing it, you know. So that was a little annoying. But anyway, uh, on to the games. The uh, the thing that really struck me first about Resident Evil 8 was that uh, Resident Evil Village, whatever you want to call it, was just the the detail the immense detail not only just in the surroundings the graphics but in the facial expressions uh the the detail on the weapons is really something else one thing i did notice in the trailer shows that you can shoot weapons out of people's hands it looks like you don't have to be pinpoint accurate with it it seems like that hitbox is kind of big because he shot like up here somewhere on one of them kind of hit in the vicinity of the weapon and they dropped the sword those zombie looking dudes in the in the dungeon so that was interesting i thought the big thing the big thing i took away from the resident evil village presentation was the customization i'm glad they're going back to the the re4 era uh attache case where you've got all your stuff and you move it around and stuff and the customization, mixing your uh, mixing your first aid and stuff. I think I think I caught that you're gonna make your own ammo and stuff, and just how they showed the um, the Duke. That's the merchant in this. The Duke, uh, not John Wayne, but the, the merchant. He um, he has three main spots for the store. It's like uh, items. Uh, like health, first aid, stuff like that. Then you've got your armaments, and then you've got your uh, cell, like wherever you want to sell your treasures and stuff that you find. The customization on the weapons looks really cool too, like how you can, uh, and customizing like your your medicine and making your own stuff and upgrading your weapons, the, the, the gunsmithy area. That was really cool. I'm excited most for that stuff when it comes to, um, when it comes to Resident Evil Village. The, the game and the story itself, I'm sure, will be good. Uh, and all, oh, yeah, one of the big things is that they really showed some good detail on Chris Redfield. You don't get a whole lot of that in the trailers. You kind of see him like real quick, like he's kind of in passing or whatever. Whatever they did with him is such an improvement over that horrible, horrible version looking version of Chris at the end of Resident Evil 7. That was awful. Like, he looked awful. Almost to a point where I'm going to be like, that wasn't really Chris Redfield. That was somebody saying he was Chris Redfield. This is the real Chris Redfield. Like, in my head canon, that's how that's going to work. Because that dude looked nothing like Chris Redfield. Nothing. So, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm totally in on that new Chris Redfield design. Now, for the Resident Evil, or the, the, for the Final Fantasy VII Remake Integrade part of this whole thing, I thought was good. It was informative. Like, 
when they showed that presentation trailer that showed the side-by-side -side comparisons of the PS4 and PS5 versions of Integrate, or the game itself, um, one of the things that stood out was they showed more scenes. More stuff was shown, more comparison shots were shown, and there were a few that showed Midgar, and man, man did they clean that up. They, they really cleaned that up. As I've said before on the channel, that didn't bother me like it bothered a lot of you all. And I understand why it bothers you. I, I, I get that. It didn't take me out of the story, and I didn't really care either way. But that being said, good God. Like, that's what those textures should have looked like when they came out. <laughs> now, we haven't seen flowers or doors yet, right? We haven't seen any flowers or doors, I don't think. But uh, if this is to be any gauge on how that's going I, I, I think they probably fixed it uh, they let a little bit more of Yuffie's new theme play and I thought that was awesome like you, you got to hear a little bit more of that you got to hear a little bit more of the Wu Tai theme when they were showing Yuffie's gameplay which looks stellar her gameplay looks so fun and they got her character right quirky Kind of quippy, snarky, maybe a little bit spoiled, you know. They got it right. I thought they were going to go heavy and brooding or something with her, and they didn't. I, I like that she looks like she's going to be, like, like giving the party the business and, you know, like, pulling the nyuck, 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 like, laugh. She's got, she's got that weird nyuck, nyuck, nyuck laugh in the translation. So it looks like she's going to be, like, that type of character. She can get down to business. She can be serious. But she's kind of goofy, right? Getting getting seasick on the high wind or getting airsick on the high wind and spinning around in circles and puking off the side. I mean, it looks like they've got her right, which makes me super excited for Sid and Vincent and more Red 13 going forward and all the other characters they're going to bring in. One thing they did say um, that I saw, I, I caught briefly. I don't remember where I saw it translated it may have been audrey um i saw it on twitter i saw it somewhere it may have been her on twitter said that um there was a point where uh they were talking about yuffie is going to come across like we'll cross paths with barrett and tifa and them during that part of the game or whatever uh i thought that was interesting so i don't know if by that in translation sometimes things get lost I don't know if by that he means you will see them in her storyline or if she's actually going to interact with them like verbally like talk to them which they could get away with if they don't know it's her like if she's got the 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 moogle hoodie on and all that like if she just talks to him real quick and goes on about her business because she does have it on in that scene where she's like should we go talk to him should we go say hi you know uh she does have that on in that scene so they, they could pull it that way and later on when she jumps them and tries to steal their materia in game number two they don't know who she is you could still get away with that uh, it was a there was a funny part and I could tell what was going on I, I I did see a translation for this to confirm it but I could tell what was happening they showed Jesse and they were kind of talking about how they wanted to make avalanche more important in remake and we knew that from Ultimania right and we already knew that was one of their goals and I think it was the guy who asked uh, Kitase if Jesse's still alive and he goes like he's like I can't talk about it you know and they all kind of started laughing D did that did he just confirm it that like his his expression like uh, like I feel like if she was dead okay so here, here's why I say this here's why I say this I feel like if she was dead he'd be like oh I, I, I can't talk about it but if she's alive he's like oh sorry I can't talk about that like he was like giddy or something you know what I mean so I she's I think she's alive based on that I think she's alive and Wedge might be the one that died they could pull they could pull a bait and switch on that right they could like, it looked like Wedge was going to be the only one that made it right and in the end he's actually the only one that died it could be we don't know we'll find out speculation abound so we're going to find out in Integrade what happened with uh, Biggs and Jesse because I feel like that's going to be a part of the game you play with Yuffie and Sonnen because they don't show it in the trailer because if they did, you're going to be like, if you show Yuffie and Sonnen at the pillar 
You're like, oh, okay, they, they save Biggs and Jesse. That could be why they haven't shown it if that's a part of the game you played. So I'm really interested in that. Everything looks great for Intergrade. I can't wait to play it. Um, but that was about it. They didn't really drop anything new, uh, which I didn't think they would. I thought it would be kind of exactly what we got. Uh, real quirky, real fun. I love how they present stuff. Like we don't, I don't necessarily get a lot of their presentation stuff, but I love their sense of humor in Japan. I love that sense of humor. Uh, it's kind of quirky. It's kind of dry, you know. But they they're not afraid to like get giddy and kind of childlike with their excitement. They're really not afraid to go over the top with when they get excited or happy or whatever. You know, I love that. I love that. It's not pretentious at all. I loved it. I thought it was it was a lot of fun watching that hour. Even though I didn't know what they were saying, I could tell they were having fun, or at least they were told to look like they were having fun. I don't know. They, they looked like, like they were genuinely having fun. The guy, the host, uh, was pretty good, but the, the two girls that started, I thought they were great hosts. They did a great job. Uh, I thought this was fun, so it'll be interesting to see more. What I would like to see moving forward would be a subtitled version of it to come out later. And they may still do one. I mean, it just came out earlier today. They just did it. They may do a subtitled version of it, but I would like to see an officially subtitled version released a, like a day or two after these things air so people can go back and watch it that don't necessarily speak Japanese and they can they can uh, enjoy it. But anyway, that was my thoughts on it. Uh, it, it was what it was, you know, uh, no real big surprises. The Resident Evil Village stuff they showed, it was just kind of more of the same stuff we've seen. A few more shots, you know, there were a few more shots in that trailer than uh, the Final Fantasy VII Remake Integrate. Again, it was just a few more shots. Extended gameplay with Sony and Yuffie, which I thought was really good. She looks like she's going to be a lot of fun to play as. And moving forward, I'm really looking to see what they do with those team-up dynamics, those techs, double and triple techs. I'm here for it. I'm here for it. You all know we've been talking about that since the start. I was like, I'm here for it, and it'll be a nice test run for that Chrono Trigger remake when they bring it out. Because everybody knows what game mastered the double and triple tech. Anyway, y'all have a great night. Keep rocking. Be safe out there. Be good to each other. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Throw a like on the video, and I will see you all in the next one.